Hello, everyone. Hope you are doing well. So here we have a, one of the Panajum build question. And the direction for the question is, so there are four sentences, uh, level one, two, three, and four given below. When we properly sequence them, we would uh, yield a coherent paragraph. And we need to decide on the proper sequencing of the order of the sentences and key in the sequence of the four numbers as our answer. Well, these are the four uh, sentences which have been given and all the sentences are in integrative format. So the first sentence said, what is your legacy? So when we talk about legacy, it indicates about uh, um, the kind of a property, right? Um, after somebody's death, so whatever he left, so here you can say that what it's a kind of a philosophical statement. So when we talk about what is your legacy, so that could be property, wealth, or means it can be referred to the trust, or you talk about um, peace, or you talk about loyalty, loyalty, or you talk about uh, honesty, right? So this could be also known as the legacy. So when we look at the first sentence, the first sentence stated, what is your legacy? So um, it could be indicating to these are the qualities or uh, the kind of a property which we talk about wealth. Now, if you look at the second sentence, it is also stated, will you be remembered uh, with love and respect? So. Uh, this sentence point out that what, how people will remember you. So whether people will remember with, uh, remember you with love and respect. So when does it come? So love and respect, when do people means, uh, talk about you? Um, so when people talk well about you, then you find out that they do have the love and respect for you. So in that case, uh, when we say that pe people will, will you be remembered with love and respect? So this could not be come as the second sentence as we talk about what is your legacy. If your legacy is a means of prop, uh, trust, peace, loyalty and honesty. So obviously those of the things after your death, you leave and uh, um people uh, remember you for your legacy, you can say that. Okay, uh, fine. Uh, we can talk about that. The first sentence would be this, because this is what indicating uh, one's death and after one's death, what, whatever he does, like a good or bad, so that he left um, after his death and uh, people start talking about that particular person. Second sentence stated about will you remember with love and respect. So how do we uh, understand that people remember you with love and respect? So when they speak, good about you, isn't it? So uh, in that case, look at the third sentence. The third sentence said, will you be sp spoken well of? So if you uh, whether people speak well about you or not, so all... Uh, if you look at the second and third sentence, so these are written in a passive voice sense. So the first sentence stated about legacy, second sentence stated about love and respect, and third sentence stated about spoken well of. So we can say that uh, if people speak well about you, then you can understand that people remember you with love and respect. Isn't it? So in that case, uh, in 2 and 3, we can find out the pair should be 3 and 2. Why? Because people speak well about you. It means people mm, remember, remember you with love and respect. So in that case, first comes people speak. And how people speak or what people speak, it's called as a love and respect. So 3 and 2 would be the kind of a pair. And 1 can be called as a beginning of it. Then four is stated or the sentence four stated what, how would you like to be remembered? So this is called as a 
again another sentence where it is stated how would you like to be remembered or you can say that what means how do you think that people will people um, people would remember you right or um, in that case also we can say that um, how do you think that people would remember you uh, in this case we can say that this could be a second sentence right um so and the first one is called as what is your legacy so the first thing is called as what is your legacy your qualities that you left after your death and four would be the next where you can say that means after your death people would like to remember you because of your qualities that you that you have left after your death and they start people start speaking about you and when they speak about you they speak with love and respect because they speak well right if they speak well it means what they speak they speak with love and respect in that case we can say the first sentence should be legacy the second sentence people would remember because of your legacy that legacy could be called as a Uh, the good thing that you have done in your life, and after your death, people remembered you because of that legacy, which would be called as a trust, peace, loyalty, and honesty, right? And third would be what means people start speaking well about you. So when they speak well about you, it means they remember you with love and respect, isn't it? The remember you with love and respect so in that case we can say um <clears throat> the uh, the sequence should be what the sequence should be 1 4 3 2 this could be the appropriate sequence of the uh, of the question i hope you understood this this is what now if i talk about it what is your legacy how would you like to be remembered will you be spoken well of will you be remembered with love and respect so this is what the sequence 1 4 3 2 if we talk about 1 4 2 3 so we 2 uh, 3 cannot be called as a pair why because we cannot say that will you be remembered with or people uh, remember with love and respect and then you said that people speak well of right so people speak well of you understand that people remember you with love and respect isn't it hence the sequence should be 1432 thank you